Hi, I just wanted to come on and say that I start the video looking like a rat, but just ignore that. But yeah, I've got a few sort of useful tips and tricks for getting into medicine. But yeah, just keep watching if you wanna learn about my sort of journey here, because it's not the most traditional if you wanna pick up some cool new tips as well. So enjoy the video. Good morning. Somehow your girl got into medicine this year. Everyone well, got a place at medical school. So yeah, I'm gonna also be getting ready because I'm going up to London later on. I'm just gonna grab myself a coffee and then we'll get into it. So yeah, basically my journey to get into medical school is a little bit sort of unconventional. So that's why I wanted to share it. And also I promised that if I did get in like second time that I'd like, do one of these videos because I found them like really inspiring and whatever when I got rejected the first time. So that is why I made this video. Here's my coffee. Looks pretty nice. I'll start with what made me want to do medicine, where the first like, inspiration came from. So let's go. So my first year I wanted to be a doctor when I was actually two years old. Um, I hadn't actually started on the solid food yet, but I sort of really knew that I wanted to be a doctor. So to me it was actually really different. I kind of knew really late. In school I was always good at like biology, chemistry, whatever. I got nines in both of them. I just kind of decided to take them for A level just because I was like good at them. That medicine had honestly not even crossed my mind. I'm, yeah, not even passing for what to be honest. Yeah, so I started college, so biology, chemistry, law, don't even know why I took law, I just, I thought it was cool, I think. So I started college with them, and then I decided that I actually wanted to be one of the cool girls that does like English literature and art. So I actually ended up dropping chemistry and English literature. Um, but then I got a job in a pharmacy just because I needed a job. And then Covid also hit, which was lovely. And yeah, I just started to really enjoy my job at the pharmacy. Obviously a lot of the patients like would literally see barely anyone each week. Uh, so I just really felt like I was actually doing something good with my life and I was really enjoying it. I was also dropping off medication to patients like, after work, that was shielded. But I just got a taste of doing something good with my life and I was like, you know what, fuck it. I sort of medicine. Also, I've always loved science. Like, I, yeah, I literally have always found it so interesting. During remote learning, we had to watch this like weird documentary about like tapeworms and like weird stuff like that. And like, I bloody loved it for some reason. So, yeah, that also was like, yeah, why am I not doing science? That I should be doing medicine. Not tapeworms being one of the top reasons I chose to do medicine. <laughs> yeah, I had lots of reasons. Also, like family members and stuff were ill, and that just really made me think about my whole life basically during lockdown. Basically, I had a mental breakdown and decided I wanted to change my career path and do medicine. Okay, bearing in mind, this was May of first year now, I had to catch up a bit with chemistry. So, I ended up dropping English Lit again and picking chemistry back up. In the end, I was like, okay, I'll just teach myself first year, like in a couple months, and then I'll just start second year with everyone else. And it actually somehow, I pulled out the bag and it worked. I was back on track doing biology, chemistry, and law now. But yeah, I just wanted to say that because I haven't seen like any other videos where people have sort of been doing the wrong subject. I don't know, I just hadn't seen many people talk about that. I just need to grab a towel. So there was already sort of one hurdle that I had to overcome before applying the first time. So onto my first application, which was in my second year of college, so like where most people apply. I had pretty good prelims grades. I had A star, A star, A, both A stars in the um, sciences. So then I had to take my UCAT exam, which was literally the worst thing of my life, not to be dramatic. I absolutely hated it. I really just couldn't hack it. I enjoyed like going to cafes and like sitting with my laptop doing the revision, but I just couldn't be bothered. I hated it. Like I'd never done an exam like it and I just couldn't hack it. But yeah, I did try hard for it and I ended up getting 2,690, which is like a decent score. Not like amazing, but could have done something with that, you know. So I had my UCAT, had my predicted A-levels and I thought I'd I'd apply. First time around I applied to King's, Exeter, Nottingham, Liverpool, Biochemistry at Manchester as well as my fifth choice. And also like for my personal statement, I'd obviously been working in the pharmacy for about 
maybe just about a year or so. I'd read books by doctors and nurses so just to show that I was trying to get like some insight. I was also going EPQ on a disease called trachoma, which is like a neglected tropical disease and I found that so fun. So I put some work into my personal statement, blah blah blah. Oh I did all the like virtual medical experiences as well online. Um, that they were doing in lockdown. That's the same one I thought was very good. Also, I've, I've done my skincare, so let's go cut my hair. Okay, so we're just gonna ignore the fact that my room is an absolute tip. Where was I? Um... Oh yeah, so what I was about to say was that first time round, I basically had a bit of an ego to me. I was kind of like, I'm literally like an A star, A student. I've got like what I thought was a pretty good UCAT score. I had good work experience. I definitely like had a passion for it. And I was like, my passion will shine through. They will let me in, they'll let me in. Basically, I just, I thought I was a stronger application than I was. Cause if you think about it, like medicine is just completely different. And like no one really told me but if I was applying for something like law or biology or something, I'd be a pretty good candidate. Like I probably would get into some good uni, but medicine is just a complete different ball game. I didn't realize it. So I applied to too cockily, if that's a word. Yeah, I just had an ego. But I didn't apply for a range of like good, obviously any medical school is good, but I didn't apply for like a range of less hard to get into whatever yeah, and also i didn't really look at the like process of like what they look at like kings just said we, we look holistically and i was like oh i'm pretty holistic like or some really care about gcse some really care about a levels so it's so 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 important that you look at you need to look at our admissions process basically and i just didn't so yeah so first time applying i didn't get any interviews <laughs> And yeah, I was just sitting around waiting till like March. Like, I was seeing on the student room, like everyone had already had their interviews and I was like, no, they might, they might still be sending me my interview, my invitation, like, but so in the end, I didn't get any interviews. Obviously it wasn't ideal. Also you need to remember my year, cause so many people the year before had to defer because of COVID. Um, there were sort of less spaces, so it was even more competitive, but still whatever. So obviously didn't get any places. I did get, um, offer for biochemistry at Manchester and I was left in a position where I needed to sort of weigh up my options and decide what I wanted to do. I'm just gonna put some like hair oil in because my hair looks so like dry and fried which it is so and I'll do my makeup later because it's literally like half 12 and I'm not leaving till like I don't know six <laughs> and then I shall carry on girls and I just spilled my coffee all over my floor so that is brilliant that's really made my day okay so I literally still have like two hours till I have to leave but I'm just gonna do my makeup anyway just for the fun of it but let's get back to talking about medicine the situation that I was in was obviously I had no offers so I had to decide if I wanted to try to do a different degree and then maybe do postgrad medicine or if I wanted to do a gap year and reapply or if I just like wanted to not do medicine. So yeah, I had a lot to think about. With the post-grad medicine, like there's fewer spaces for post-grad, so that will be more competitive. And also then I'll have to do like three years of a degree I don't really want to be doing. And I feel like that would really just like, I don't know, really like ram it down your throat if you're doing something that's like similar to medicine, but isn't medicine, if that makes sense. If I wasn't gonna do medicine, I think I'd rather do something completely different, like go back to my roots and do law, because apparently I was obsessed with it for some reason. What I decided to do was to do a gap year and try and apply again. Definitely had my ego checked when I got my four rejections. I think the main thing was just the UCAL. I literally had no idea how important it was. I just really didn't take that seriously. I didn't realize it was that deep really. So that was the main thing I knew I had to improve if I wanted to get in the next year. I'll just talk a little bit about my gap year and how I sort of worked on my application. Obviously I was working towards my A-levels so I wanted to achieve like good grades for that obviously. I did end up getting two A-stars and an A and A-star in my EPQ which I was really happy with. I also managed to get a job as a GP receptionist. That's just like more work experience got to obviously speak to those the doctors and just got much more of a feel of working in the nhs and working in healthcare so that was good and then this time i took the ucat more seriously so i managed to improve my ucat score to 2770 which is definitely a better score than the year before and then the main thing i say is just yeah i learned how to apply strategically like i really looked at every single university and saw which ones i had the best chance of getting into like which ones i'd actually be most likely to get to 
to the interview stage because I feel like I knew if I got to the interview I knew I'd be all right what I did was I obviously looked on the university websites I also looked on the student room to see the cutoffs from the year before like UCAT cutoffs to sort of help decide where I wanted to apply but I ended up applying for Bristol Anglia Ruskin, Manchester and St George's. I applied for medical sciences at Swansea as well as my um, fifth choice. Bristol, I literally looked and saw that the year before the UK cut off was like 2,800 or something. I just really liked Bristol. So I was like, that's my one that I'm gonna apply for and like didn't really expect to get an interview, but that was a bit of a throwaway one, but whatever. For the others that I kind of knew that I would have met the UK cut off like from previous years. Yeah, I just knew that I'd be more likely to get interviews. So I ended up getting interviews for Boston, St George's and Manchester. Um, I didn't get one for Bristol, but what was I expecting otherwise? Like that was a bit throwaway, but <laughs> who cares? Obviously so you had to do interview prep. That was something I didn't have to do the year before because I didn't get any interviews. Basically just like looking into current topics in medicine, like hot topics, ethical questions, all that sort of thing. Just getting like a good grounding. So like whatever came up, I'd be able to have a good discussion about it. I also practiced just like talking about topics out loud. I did like mock interviews with people. A boy who's like the son of someone that my mum works with, he's at Cambridge doing medicine. So I was like, that's a bloody win. If I do questions with him, he must be smart. And so one of the doctors from my work did a little mock interview with me. But yeah, this girl I met like at a random place, like she was also applying for medicine. And we were both like, oh, should we just do some little fake interviews on FaceTime? So those were like really helpful. Cause it just, yeah, gives you confidence talking about stuff like you know what you're talking about yeah the interviews were literally fine to be honest they were all really nice at the interviewers so yeah my application had definitely improved a lot mainly because of the UCAT just the way that I was applying and yeah obviously I had a bit more experience and so my personal statement improved as well out of the three interviews I had I've got an offer from St George's and from Manchester and then I'm on the waiting list for Anglia Ruskin but I don't really care because I'd rather go to one of the other two. I have actually firmed my place now at Manchester. So I will be in Manny in September, which will be lit. I'm very excited about that. I'm just gonna talk a bit about my gap year as well, because I actually think there's so many benefits. I just really, I'm really bad gap year, so I think more people should do it. Also, if anyone's wondering what that is, basically my piercings are infected, so it's some weird little salt paste that I made. I don't know the medical evidence behind that, but here we are. So, yeah, in my gap year, I obviously just got experience like working in the real world. I've had like a few jobs. So I worked at, as the GP receptionist, I also had a job in a bar in the evening. So that was definitely interesting. I also got to travel a little bit. I went skiing, which was really nice. And it was with like a group of people that I'd never met before. So yeah, that was just a really cool experience. Um, I went to Thailand for a month with one of my friends, which was lit. Just did iron topping and it was just really, really fun. Also went for a cheeky trip to Amsterdam with one of my other friends, which was so cool. But yeah, I got to just like do some fun stuff. Just think like it gives you general life experience. like. Obviously, your whole life you've been in education, you've never had to like just sort of work and manage your own time. And if you think about it, it's not like, like you do a gap year or you go to uni, like I'm still going to uni, it's literally one year later. Like, you're gonna get your degree and get a job and then you're there for the rest of your life. Why not just like get there a year later, because you have the next like 50, 60 years to do your job. So why not go on a mental gap year first? It's just my opinion just on my eyebrows obviously for a different job because I wanted to try something different again so now I'm working at like a lovely little cafe sort of brunch place I'm also working at Marks and Spencer's of all places I'm just saving a bit of money before uni and getting ready for hot summer at the moment those are my top priorities before medical school when I actually have to um start doing some work so yeah that's where I'm at, at the moment I'm just gonna do some more of my makeup and get ready so I've done my makeup now and I'll show you my outfit in just a second but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed the video or found something useful in it if any of you are applying this year then good luck if you haven't got in this year obviously don't lose hope try and like watch a few other videos because like there's there's so many like different routes into medicine and also like make sure you consider other options as well because medicine really isn't the all and end all obviously it feels so horrible when you get rejected but you're still living and breathing like there are worse things in the world you can try again 
like if you take one year out like it's not the end of the world and it will feel all the better when you do get in eventually when i got my offer for manchester oh my god i was in the queue for like this concert with my friend and the email came through and we were both just like oh my like it was just so so nice but it was just an amazing feeling especially as i knew i'd worked so hard for it so yes best of luck everyone